We are live. What's going on, guys? What is going on? It's getting weird that it's uh, it's staying uh, light outside uh, later and later. So it doesn't. It feels earlier than I normally stream because I was used to streaming at like uh, you know when it's dark out, but now it's still light outside and I'm streaming. A little bit of. So yeah, give you guys a couple of minutes to kind of come into the chat, guys. Um. <clears throat> have a look at the market how's everybody doing how is everybody doing it's gonna be a good night guys it's gonna be a good night in my opinion uh, armed to fight you what's up buddy god you know what man i'm that name's never gonna get old man it's never gonna get old <laughs> i absolutely love that name man uh you got you gotta you gotta get copyright on that name <laughs> armed to fight you <laughs> oh that's awesome crypto homes what's up buddy uh ahmad what's up man good to see you good to see you everybody's coming in what's up rob i'm just chilling killing like a villain you know jack stacked and fanny packed dca and across the board you know how it is you know how it is market's looking juicy uh what do we got uh thanks i do i play I play on uh, PUBG. What's PUBG? <clears throat> what is PUBG? Let me know. Yeah. So what's up, everybody? How's everybody doing out there today? Streaming over on X, streaming on YouTube. What's going on, guys? It's going to be a good green week. I feel it in my bones. BTC's back up over 70,000 out of nowhere. Very, very nice. Uh, Element Rage, how you doing, brother? How is it going, man? Shea Boy, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uh, my YouTube has streams uh, of my gameplays. Oh, nice. You know what? I try. I started doing. Um, I started streaming my game on. Uh, I play a lot of World of Warcraft, so I started streaming that on my Twitch. But I don't ever get any followers or anything like that. So it's just me sitting there playing on on Twitch by myself, playing WoW. Well. Um, so, yeah. Hey, Violator, what's up, man? Good to see you once again, man. Once again, welcome in. Good to see you, man. Um, absolutely, guys. Yeah, so I never get anybody watching me over on Twitch uh, when I'm playing my World of Warcraft. So, uh, Havoc, what's up, Rob? Uh, how you doing this evening? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. Uh, market's looking green. I absolutely love it. Uh, what do we got? Uh, what, Rob? I hope your Monday is going great. You too, my friend. You too. I hope your Monday is going awesome. Going to watch a little wrestling later tonight, you know, see what's going on on Monday Night Raw, probably. Um, uh, Arrow is a fire uh, is on fire. Super excited! Yes, let's have a look at it. Actually, let's have a look. Let's open up some Coin Gecko up in here, guys. Right, we gotta get some Coin Gecko going up in here. Gotta look at some projects, man. What do you think this is? Yeah, going nuts. Sixty one point eight six percent up. Looking good, man. Absolutely, absolutely good call by uh, Crypto John. Called this one, I believe. Good call. Good call. Respect, respect. Uh, can you check? <laughs> Michael, you better be joking, right? <laughs> I'm surprised you got there before before KK did, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, hello, Rob. Thanks for streaming. Oscar, good to see you, man. Thanks for being here. <laughs> oh, man. KK, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Uh, Balaclava, man. What's up? Haven't seen you in a couple days, man. Uh, what's up, Rob? What kind of sauce you got for us tonight? I got the fries that'll cross your eyes, brother. Let me tell you. Uh, I see what you did there, Michael. <laughs> uh, Josh, uh, how far do you think XRP can drop? Drop? Is it dropping right now? Is XRP dropping? It's, it's up 1.72%. I don't think it's going to drop, man, uh, unless unless it gets pulled down with the market. I don't see it dropping, brother. Uh, bu -bu -bu. 
Boomer, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, Michael. You smart ass. How's <laughs> Yo, Holmes. Violator. Uh, what's up, Rob? Always love the stream. Ah, good to see you, Maltasanti. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, spell a good project. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> you okay? Okay. <laughs> Uh, what else do we got? Hey, have, have a look at the project uh, GAU, G-A-U, G-A-U, or sorry, G-U-A, G-A-U, yeah. Uh, 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 Gamer Arena, 16 cents, 28% um, up on the day, ranked 828, 43, fairly low market cap, about half the supplies in circulation on Avalanche. Uh, all-time high 12 days ago. Yes, I would say that this is a project that I would consider uh, getting into. Yes, it is one that I would consider. Uh, Avalanche, I believe that Avalanche Gaming is going to uh, is going to do some big things uh, in this. The Web3 Gaming on Avalanche can do big things in this bull run. Uh, they're gearing up big time over at AVAX. Triple B. Um, it's up just thinking about how crazy liquidations can be after BTC correction. Yeah. I mean, Hey, we could actually funny story. We could actually see a, a, a short squeeze on Bitcoin and continue to pump upwards. Uh, there's a lot of short, uh, a lot of shorts that are getting put in right now too. So, uh, I would not be surprised at all, man, if we saw that. Hmm, right. What else do we got going on here, guys? What else is going on? Uh, Luke, uh, what is your short-term Jasmine price prediction? Short-term? Well, what's your definition of short-term? Uh, I'm thinking we could possibly see, depending on how things play out with all of our catalysts, we could see about a dollar by the end of the year. Um, that's where my hope lies. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, guys, as you come in. That would be a fantastic favor to me. Um, I would appreciate you if you would do that. Definitely be awesome of you. Be a lot cooler if you did. Um, Krill is pumping really hard. Never heard of it. K-R-Y-L-L. -L. Krill. 136%. Holy crap. Reasonable market cap still. Most of the supplies in circulation. So on Ethereum, what do they do? That's the question. Uh, automate your trading strategy with zero co uh, zero coding experience needed or copy trade from the best traders in the crypto space. Hmm. Seems like a decent play, to be honest with you. And it is uh, it's, all time high was two years ago, four dollars seventy five cents. Yeah, this one, this one's got some potential, man. This one's got some potential over on Coinbase, KuCoin, Crypto.com, uh, Gate.io. Yeah, this is a decent project, man. I'd pro I, honestly, if I was looking for a new play, I'd probably go into something like this. Market cap still reasonable. Most of the supplies and it's got good tokenomics, low total supply. Uh, yeah, seems like a decent little play, man. Good call. Good call, man. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Hey, Rob, hope you're good and well. I am good, man. Feeling good today. Feeling good this, e uh, this evening. Uh, definitely. Price prediction for injective this bull run. Injective. Up 4% right now. Injective is going to smash 100 bucks, in my opinion, honestly. Uh, I could definitely see it smashing a hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, it's 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 gonna do really really well. It's finally Injective's finally gaining a lot of that popularity that it should have had in the last bull run. To be honest with you, um, I'm surprised it's only ranked 43rd in market cap. Uh, what do you think about ICP? Love ICP. I absolutely love ICP. 
I say this all the time. I think ICP got a bad rap in the last bull run, uh, not because of themselves. Sam Bankman Freed and FTX, they artificially inflated the price of uh, of ICP to like $700. And then they rugged it, and then the team got blamed for what for the rug. So everyone thought that the team at ICP rugged everybody, but they didn't, right? Which really cost them the last bull run, right? And I thought that was shady. But this time around, it's been, you know, everybody knows now that it wasn't the team. Everybody knows it's a good project. So ICP is going to have a fantastic bull run, in my opinion. Will it get back to $700? No, no, not this bull run anyways. But that doesn't mean that it's still not going to breach 100 bucks easy, right? Uh, very good play. 100 bucks, guys, 100 bucks on ICP, you could easily 10x that, right? You could easily hit a 10x on ICP. So definitely a good project. And actually, I did a breakdown video last year of ICP. If you want to know more in more detail about what they do, Go back and check out that video. Search my videos for the ICP video, and you can it gives you a little bit more of a comprehensive deep dive into what ICP is all about. Uh, BTC up so much correction soon. Maybe could see a short squeeze coming too, though, man. Could she see a short squeeze coming? It's possible. Uh, hey, Rob, uh, has your price prediction on Jasmine changed with now knowing uh, what we have come via the roadmap? Uh, it has a little bit, but I'm reserving. I'm reserving my uh, increasing my price prediction until after I hear what Hara has to say on Wednesday for starters, right? So because that is going to obviously be a, an impact. So Jasmine, $17. Let's go. Let's go. Angelo, up and down. Jasmine Price, we need a fat wick. That's what she said uh, for the push higher. Yes, that is what she said. Uh, let's have a look, actually, right now. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, she's she still just keeps hitting that resistance level and coming back down. You know, uh, how will Jasmine? Uh, how is Jasmine still in Binance's innovation zone? Uh, do we know if that will get fixed soon? I, I have a suspicion that yes, it will get fixed soon. In my opinion. Um, However, I mean, they have to get their product out to market. That's the key here, right? Uh, the only product that Jasmine has out to market right now is their Aveda laptops, right? However, now listen, in saying that, another factor that could influence um, Binance's decision, I mean, we have this big, uh, this big IoT partnership announcement coming up, right? And if it is Sony, if it's, if it's Intel, if it's Samsung, if it's something like that, well, shit, you can't tell me that that's not going to affect Binance's decision, right? So uh, to get us out of the innovation zone, for sure. For sure, I could see that being, uh, being a factor. So uh, absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, guys, make sure you are hitting the subscribe button for me, please. And shoot me a follow over on uh, X. If you're watching me on X, that would be super fantastic. It would be great. Do it now. Uh, what's up, fam? Rob, you the man. Thanks, Kevin. Good to see you again, brother. Good to see you again. Uh, have you ever looked at a project called Lock? Uh, Lock. Let's have a look. No, I have not. But let's have a look. Lock. Just the one you're talking about? Huindi, uh, Houndi Swap? Houndi Swap? Uh, ranked 1,000. Exactly 1,000 it's ranked. Up 14% on the day. $30 million market cap. About 30% of the supplies in circulation. All-time high was 20 days ago. Fairly new project. Hasn't really had much of a pump yet. Uh, where is it listed? Is it not listed anywhere yet? Oh, yeah. M MEXC, MetaMask. Um, yeah. What do they do? Are they are they like a... Are they a DeFi play or something? HundiSwap is a uh, com compliant privacy tool an infrastructure layer that enables uh, private cross-chain transactions. Uh, yeah, see, guys, you guys know how I feel about privacy coins, right? Um, 
I, uh, as much as I like them, as much as I, uh, I think that it has a fantastic utility, I just do not think that the government, any government, uh, is going to allow privacy projects to exist long term. At some point, they will be attacked and destroyed. The government is never going to allow you to hide your money and your transactions, right? That's just not something they're going to allow. Uh, they want their pound of flesh and they will get it, right? Uh, so that's why I personally do not buy these privacy projects because I just don't see long term them continuing to be allowed to exist. But they are good projects nonetheless. Uh, Arrow just made me more than I make in a month, uh, and we haven't even started to climb in the grand scheme. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's the beauty of picking good projects, man. That is the beauty of it. Uh, when is the announcement? I'm hoping Hara has something to say about it on Wednesday, because you know that he's going to be asked about it, right? That just goes without saying. So I wonder what his answer is going to be, you know? <laughs> Uh, Floki, good buy in, uh, good to buy into with the new roadmap. Uh, I mean, Floki's kind of old news for me. I think Floki will still have a decent bull run, but the market cap is is pretty big. I mean, it's a, it's going to have gains still. Floki's not going anywhere. But if you really want good ROI and you're looking at meme coins, you should probably pick something a little bit newer, in my opinion. But that's not saying that Floki is a bad uh, idea at the same time, right? Like it's already got a two point three seven seven trillion dollar or a trillion a billion dollar market cap. Imagine trillion, crazy, right? Um, but I mean, you know, who knows, right? It would it wouldn't hurt to put a put a hundred bucks into it and kind of see what happens, right? It's never a bad idea as long as you can afford to lose that hundred bucks. Uh, how high the market cap of Jasmine can hit by the end of the year? Andrew, that is a moving target, my friend, that you're asking, because as the supply gets locked up and taken out of circulation, as tokens get burned, as these things kind of happen, uh, you will see the market cap continue to fluctuate, right? Uh, so it's kind of a moving target question, my friend. It's hard to tell. Uh, hey, Rob and Jasmine family. Haas, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Uh, Michael, is, Haas, uh, is, Her is Hara's explanation of the roadmap tomorrow March 27th in Japan. Uh, it'll be, uh, no, it'll be Wednesday. Uh, he's not going to do it in the middle of the night uh, in the West. So uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, what is your price prediction for SEI? I think SEI could hit anywhere. Honestly, I say realistically between five to ten dollars which is a big range so I, I like to say somewhere right in the middle around six or seven bucks i could see uh, sei network going to vc backed project very very good guys guys we told our members to buy sei network when it was two cents guys that's why you want to be a member of the channel you want to click that that link in the chat to be a member because we call these projects so early guys like uh sei network uh, yeah, like it's 84 cents right now, guys, 84 cents. We told the, we told the members to buy this project at two cents, two cents. A lot of the members bought in at two cents. I bought in at two cents. I'm still holding it at 84 cents. Cause I think, I think this one's going to six or $7, right? So it was a fantastic pickup guys. But if you want to get in on those opportunities, you got to join the community guys. Click the, click the link in the description or in the chat for that. I mean. Thoughts on SwiftCoin? Uh, I am actually mass, uh, I'm mass accumulating SwiftCoin right now myself. So uh, I am ultra bullish on it, to be honest with you. Uh, it has a new roadmap with uh, debit cards and Floki uh, and financial. Yeah, I know a lot of those meme coins are trying to break out of meme coin status and uh, create some utility which is admirable, which is fantastic, right? They want to continue to grow and evolve. And I say, hey, if they want to keep doing it, keep doing it, man. Because listen, Shiba Inu did it, in my opinion, right? They broke out of, for me personally, I don't consider Sheeb a meme coin anymore. They were when they started, but I mean, yeah, they launched their decks in Shiba Swap, but then they then they released an NFT line, right? Uh, now they have a layer two and they have other projects who are now migrating and launching on their layer two, building out their ecosystem. They have a metaverse coming, right? Uh, so they're doing a whole lot, 
so I, I think they've kind of outgrown that. And if Floki can do the same thing, then, hey, that's awesome, man. Right? That is absolutely awesome. Um, I had... I had a roadmap, uh, I'm sorry, I had a random drop in Polygon Wild Goat coin. Very interesting. What do you? What are your thoughts? Uh, wild Goat coin? Wild Goat coin. Uh, 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 very, very low market cap. Uh, bu, bu, bu. tokenomics are not terrible. It's on Solana. That's a, that's a bonus. All time high was nine hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. This one hasn't had a monster pump yet. Honestly, I gotta be honest with you, man. This is the type of play. This is the type of, of meme coin that, uh, that I would probably just toss a uh, hundred bucks into and watch that hundred bucks turn it into like 2200 bucks right that's that's what kind of play this is right so uh definitely uh definitely a good early project and it's on solana as well so it's going to be affordable for fees uh bu -bu -bu. do you think agix is a good buy uh, how high can it uh, hit this uh from here uh honestly if you were not buying into uh singularity net like a year ago i mean look what, what is it right now a dollar like we were buying this when it was like uh i don't know 10 cents or something like that right uh yeah we were buying this when it was like 10 cents if you if like market caps one and a half billion dollars if you're looking for a good solid ai play that's going to make you a lot of money we called this one to the members a while ago you guys already know where i'm going with this it's one of my top ai plays going into the bull run is type ai this is the kind of play you want to get in on um hang on a second i'm gonna bring it up over on coin market cap we have made uh on the member side we have made a lot of money on this project guys a lot of money i put 500 bucks into this play and i showed i sh go uh, i showed you guys this about about three weeks ago i put 500 dollars into this play when we called it it's now 12 almost twelve thousand dollars that 500 dollars that's why you want to become a member of the channel, guys, right? Um, market cap is still reasonably low on it. Uh, tokenomics are fantastic. It's a good play. Uh, this is the kind of project for AI that you want to get into uh, if you're looking for something now, right? Uh, so I hope that that helps. I wouldn't be buying AGIX at $1.18 uh, when we were getting in at like 10 cents uh to do buck i'll join in uh in a few at work nice nice buck it'll be it'll be great to have you over man on the member side it'll be great to have you as a uh part of the family my friend jasmine gang 100 percent. big things popping little things stopping buying more some <laughs> oh michael screw you man <laughs> doing awesome huh uh cool me too uh bu -bu -bu. Uh, hey, Rob, uh, when do you think the bull market will end? Uh, love your content, but thank you, brother. Thank you. Uh, I think we're going to be, I mean, there's two there's two uh, theories here, right? So if we're going on the traditional four-year cycle, uh, then we're looking at probably sometime uh, near the end of Q2 of next year. So July, June, July is when you should probably be out. Uh, for me personally, my window of exiting is going to be between October of this year and June of next year. That's going to be your window to be DCAing out, right? Now, that being said, uh, that's the traditional four-year cycle roughly, right? Um, if you look back on the last two cycles, uh, the from, from the Bitcoin halving to the top of the market in the last two cycles, was about 500 days, okay? So if you figure that out, right, you're looking at halfway through next year, Q2 kind of thing, right? Uh, now, there's another theory, though, that you have to pay attention to, and that is the abbreviated cycle theory, uh, which has been going around, and I hope it's real, right? But a lot of people are thinking, because Bitcoin's so ahead of schedule, that the cycle might peak in December of this year, right? 
Now, do I think that that's going to happen? No, probably not. I think we're probably going to stick to the four-year cycle for the most part. That being said, I hope we peak in December because I would like to get my money out of the market and make my profits uh, by Christmas time. That would be fantastic, right? Then I can spend most of next, uh, just riding it out most of next year and then start DCAing at the beginning of 2026. That would be perfect, right? That would be perfect. Um Is Pepe getting listed on Robin? I have no idea, Sandy. I honestly have no idea. It wouldn't shock me. It wouldn't shock me. They listed Shiba Inu, right? But they took forever to list Shiba Inu. Uh, Polygon. Love Polygon. I love the Polygon network, man. Uh, the po Yeah, I love Polygon. Uh, I love some of the... I own some of AWT, one of my favorite Web3 gaming plays. It's on Polygon. Uh, Violator, these uh, these memes meme names getting out of hand. I think uh, there's one called uh, Costco Hot Dog. <laughs> really? <laughs> I got to look that up. I got to look that up. Uh, where are we here? Where are we? Costco Hot Dog. No, I got nothing. I got nothing, man. That's hilarious, though. You have it on Polygon. What do you have on Polygon? Uh, which one are we talking about, Buck? Um, what else we got? Uh, what was the name of the meme coin uh, to invest $100? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was... Uh, oh, what the hell was the name of that again now? I just looked at it a few minutes ago. Uh, do, 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 let me let me scroll up and find that. I think I might have passed. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to find a uh, AGIX. No spell token. Awesome. Cool. Um, where the hell's that meme coin? I don't know. It's it's somewhere in the chat. I can't find it. I don't know. You're going to have to go through the chat. Sorry, uh, Crypto Queen. I, I can't see it now. I can't remember. Um, actually, let me do this. Maybe it'll come up. Wild Goat Coin. That's what it is. Wild Goat Coin. There it is. Found it for you. Um, uh, hey, Jasmine family. Is anyone else a little disappointed uh, we didn't get any pump off the roadmap news? No, I'm not really disappointed, man. I am not disappointed at all. Um, because we got some mega bullish news out of it that, uh, is going to be a long-term, uh, mega bullish thing. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I mean, with the burn and everything they talked about, no, I'm not, I'm not disappointed, uh, not in the least bit, to be honest with you. So, um, do, do, do. wild goat coin. Uh, oh yes, 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 yes. Wild goat coin. Yes. Absolutely. Matthew, we've received a lot of great news lately. Yes, we have, Crypto Queen. We have, and it's going to keep coming too, right? We got this massive announcement coming up about a massive partnership. Huge news. Huge, huge news. Uh, good evening, future crypt Beebs. Jasmine Scam. Um, what else we got going on? Tony, welcome to the members side, my friend. Welcome. Uh, we did a members-only live stream yesterday. You might want to watch it. We dropped a couple micro-cap gems that you're definitely going to want to have a look at. And uh, every Sunday, we do members-only live streams, so make sure you're here Sunday afternoons for those. We look at micro-cap gems and stuff. We, uh, If you need any help with your portfolio, you need any help with your exit strategies, profit-taking, uh, that's what it's for, my friend. We have over 200 people now in the community. You definitely uh, came to the right place, my friend. So welcome to the family, Tony. It's good to have you. Uh, Rob, uh, are you bullish on uh, Node AI GPU? Node AI GPU? What is that? 
Go to AI and GPU. Boo, boo, boo. $137 million market cap. It's got good tokenomics. Um, All-time high 16 days ago. Very new project. It's pumped pretty heavy over the last month. It's because it's new. Uh, rent or lend GPU power and earn rewards with GPU. That sounds like the same thing, uh, something similar to what Jazz uh, Jankshin's trying to do right now. So, uh, yeah, it sounds pretty bullish to me. Tokenomics are, are decent. Uh, market cap is, you know, it's not, it's not insane. So, yeah. Yes. I give it the thumbs up. I give it the thumbs up, my friend. Uh, you're welcome. It was just a random dropout uh, of nowhere in my wallet. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Uh, hopefully it's not a rug of some kind. I mean, there's always that risk when it comes to meme coin guys. So you got to keep that in the back of your mind at all times. Right. Um, so yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba. what else is going on out there guys? If you're watching over on X, shoot me a, uh, a comment in the chat. So I know how many people are watching on X. We just started streaming on X, uh, yesterday. So. Uh, Rob, have you thought about making a meme coin named, uh, that's what she said, Inu? <laughs> I actually have thought about it, man, but with my luck in technology, it would end up somehow I'd screw something up. Somehow I'd click a wrong button or something and it would rug everybody and then, <laughs> then I'd get in shit. So I, that's why I don't do it. <laughs> you make it for me, Crypto Homes. You can make it for me, man. <laughs> Uh, like, uh, look what happened with that. What's that other guy, that Matt guy that uh, was like obsessed with uh, Elon Musk, the Dogecoin guy, runs a YouTube channel. I can't remember his name. It's like Matt something. Didn't he? He created a meme coin like uh, a year and a half ago and then he rugged everybody or something uh, and then claimed it was an accident. Yeah, that's I mean, that's why that's why I'm no, I don't want the government coming after me for some stupid accident that I did or something. Uh, hello, my wealthy family. Hello, crypto goddess. Welcome, welcome. Uh, wild goat coin. Yes. Uh, Tony, what do you think about uh, B Pro? Uh, B Pro. We'll look at B Pro, shall we? Rank 1354th. Uh, very low market cap, 100% of the supply and circulation. Very good and good uh all-time high three years ago so performed in the last bull run admirably they uh most powerful task marketplace in web3 correcting organizations and building through task-based work earn crypto uh and build your own on-chain cv uh very active on their socials uh yes i would give this project the thumbs up i would give it the thumbs up it's on Ethereum. You can get it over at, oh, you can get it on KuCoin, BitMart, uh, XT.com, Gate.io, Uniswap, MetaMask. Um, yeah. I would give it the thumbs up, Tony. I would give it the thumbs up, buddy. Uh, that random drop wild goat coin. Yes. Uh, dude, now we've had quit fucking around. Uh, what's up, Nicholas? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uh, called Wild Go Coin. Yes. Wild Go Coin. Good afternoon, Jasmine Scam. <laughs> uh, goat uh, is 16. Uh, wild Go Coin? No. Uh, wild Go Coin. The ticker is uh, WGC. And it is definitely not sixteen dollars and seventy nine cents. It is four zeros four one four four. I can copy the address and put it in the chat if you want. Just uh, remember, guys, I'm putting the address in the chat for it from Coin Gecko, but it's not financial advice. All right, I'm not telling you to go buy it. So. Um, VRA is pumped like crazy today. Did it? Is it pumping? VRA. 9%. Very nice. Very nice. 
Yes, I love me some veracity. They still I gotta fix these tokenomics though, eh? Yes, I do love veracity. I hold a big old bag of veracity. Fantastic project. Cannot wait for that to pump. Uh eyeing up Swift Coin. Any knowledge advice? I love Swift Coin. I love it. I like it a lot. Um, it's gonna do great. Uh I did a deep I watched a deep dive video from Max on Swift Coin, and I like he he coined the phrase the XRP of China. Uh, for swift coin i'm very bullish on it uh, i'm working on a bag right now as we speak uh rob what is your go-to exchange well cameron i would have to first say that uh the channel sponsor l bank is <laughs> uh is my go-to but it is in all honesty l bank is one of the uh one of the exchanges that i use um to pick up things uh but i use I like to use uh, L Bank. I use KuCoin. I use BitTrue. Uh, I use my MetaMask a lot. Um, what else do I use? Uh, I used to use Binance, but they left Canada. Um, yeah, that's generally. Uh, there's a couple Canadian exchanges that I use as well, like uh, Newton and ShakePay, but uh, those are my go-to exchanges. Uh, Studio Tech, what's up, man? What is going on? KK Krill is a new data security coin with interesting ideas. Uh, Jasmine Better. Yes, we were looking at Krill just a little while ago. It looks like a decent project. Uh, there's multiple wild go coins. Yes, please post the address. Uh, I did. I post the address there for you in the, in the chat. Uh, I'm in Canada uh, and it's limited. Uh, basically, uh, Coinbase. Uh, I'm in Canada too. I use KuCoin. I use Bitru. I a lot of the a lot of the microcap gems that I that I uh, buy, I just buy them either over on MetaMask, like my 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 MetaMask wallet, my Trust wallet. Uh, you just got to start navigating the uh, the decentralized exchanges for that stuff, right? Uh, Bitru is good. L Bank is good. Um, so yeah. Uh, I can't get KuCoin here in the States. Yeah, I know they can't, you can't get them there anymore. But, uh, like I said, guys, uh, I, you, I navigate my decentralized exchanges for these micro cap gems and stuff that you can't find, uh, on centralized exchanges in your area. Uh, MetaMask is fantastic for that. It's awesome. So, uh, don't forget to smash the like says Sandy. Yes, Sandy. Thank you so much for that. Definitely smash that like button, guys, and hit the subscribe button too, guys. Guys, we only need, listen, guys, we only need two, two subscribers to hit, uh, hang on, to hit, one second, I was doing something. We need two subscribers to hit 3,900. So we need two of you guys to click subscribe. That would be absolutely fantastic if you would do that. Uh, be be that guy. Be the 3900th guy, right? Everyone wants to be that guy. So help us out. Click the subscribe button. That would be absolutely epic if you would do that for us, guys. We only need two to get to the goal. Uh, it would be much appreciated, man. Much, much appreciated. So check that out. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What else going on out there? Kevin, for my U.S. peeps, get your yourself a VPN and access MEXC and BingX. Yes, Kevin, good idea, man. MEXC with a VPN is a fantastic option, man. I agree. Uh, I still have my ledger from 2020. Haven't used it since. Uh, you loaded your stuff onto there, I assume? Uh, yeah, I use Ledger too. Everyone asks me all the time as well what my go-to uh, cold storage device is. I just use my Ledger. I love it. My Ledger Nano, you know. Buck, welcome to the member side, my friend. Welcome over. Uh, again, like I say to everybody, make sure you're here on Sundays. We do members-only live streams. You don't want to miss those, man. We have a lot of fun. We look at a lot of micro-cap gems. You definitely don't want to miss it, brother. I saw that, bro. Welcome over. Welcome to the family, man. Uh, it's fantastic to have you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Guys, click the uh, click the link in the chat if you want to support the channel and become a member. It's only $4. Uh, we, we make it incredibly cheap over here for you guys to get access to that kind of to, to help. 
with your portfolio, with your exit plans, with your profit taking. Uh, we show you micro cap gems that you can get into and stuff. We got into we got into uh, SEI network at two cents, guys. We got into uh, Type AI when it first launched. I turned five hundred dollars into twelve thousand dollars, guys. Uh, with Type AI, we make these plays. You don't want to miss those. And guys, it's only four dollars. Imagine being in on that. Imagine putting uh, put it paying four bucks a month to be a member. And getting in early on plays that we call like type AI and turning 500 bucks into $12,000. Would you say that you got your $4 worth at that point? I would say yes. And these other channels are charging you like uh, 50 bucks, 100 bucks. We're only charging four bucks because we're not doing it to make money. We're doing it to uh, basically upgrade the channel. That's what that money goes to, right? To upgrade the quality of the channel and stuff like that. And we believe that everyone out there should have access to the kind of help, especially if it's your first bull run. You shouldn't have to pay 100 bucks a month for that kind of help. It's ridiculous, right? You're in this to make money, not lose it, right? That's why we only charge $4, guys. Um, so, so yes. Uh, Josh, welcome to the member side as well, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Like I said uh, to Buck, make sure you're here on Sundays for the members-only live streams. You don't want to miss them. Also, to both of you guys. I did a member. We did a members only live stream yesterday. So after this stream's over, go back and watch yesterday's uh, members only live stream because there's some micro cap gems in there that you might want to check out and get in on. Uh, make some make some good profits on those. Uh, G baby, what's up, man? We back, baby. We back. Uh, Christ like uh, now just one. Uh, thanks for helping me with Jasmine holding with uh mindset. Love your stuff. No problem, Buck. I'm glad that I can help, man. That's, that's the point, right? Is to make sure that we're helping everybody. Uh, guys, if you're watching over on X, just shoot me a little comment in the chat so that I know that people are, uh, watching over on X. Uh, I'm, I'm experimenting with X right now. Uh, we just started streaming over there. And also guys, big thank you. We just hit 3,900 subs. Uh, we got to the goal, so thank you guys who clicked the subscribe button. You guys are awesome. Um, almost panicked. <laughs> hey, that's why I'm here to keep you cool, man. I'm here to keep you cool, brother. I got the shakes that'll make you quake. You know what I'm saying? Uh, two cents, seven. Here we come. Straight to three cents. Yes. Let's freaking go, man. Let's break this resistance level already, right? It's getting it's getting a little bit a uh, little bit irritating at this point. Breakthrough already, man uh kilt uh is the data coin i meant to say oh kilt well let's have a look at kilt shall we so you think this is an iot one to compete with jasmine is that what you're saying uh 61 million dollar market cap very low market cap uh about fit little around 50 percent of the supply and circulation uh da, da, da. Identity coin. What? Let's have a look. Kilt provides secure, practical identity solutions for enterprise, government, and consumers. Part of the Polkadot ecosystem. Oh, part of the Polkadot ecosystem. Uh, let's have a look here. All-time high was two years ago, $9.80. Oh, you can get it on Kraken. Look at that, eh? Wow. Uh, KK, I'm going to say that, uh, I would give this one the thumbs up too, buddy. Uh, I would definitely, this is definitely one that I would be interested in getting in on for sure. Good, good call. Good play, man. Good play, brother. Uh, Buck, uh, hold 500,000 Jasmine strong. Nice. That's a good number, brother. That is a good number. Uh, those are the type of numbers that you want to be holding, man, for sure. Um, for me, the bare minimum, the bare minimum for the amount of Jasby that you should hold, anyone should hold, not financial advice, obviously, is at least a hundred thousand. You should hold at least a hundred thousand Jasby, in my opinion, right? Sandy, welcome to the member side. Uh, make sure you're here again. I say it to everybody, make sure you're here on, uh, on Sundays for the members only live streams. Uh, you don't want to miss those because, uh, we drop a lot of micro cap gems. 
We help people. We help everybody out. There's over 200 people in the community. Uh, we're there to help each other make money, succeed, right? Uh, so definitely make sure you join us on Sunday afternoons for those. Um, I understand that some of you guys might not be able to be there this Sunday because it is Easter and everything, but uh, we're still going to do it. I'm still going to hop on. We're still going to do the members only live stream on Sunday because, you know, some people will, will want to be there, right? So, uh, so welcome, welcome, welcome to the, uh, to the members, guys. Uh, greatly appreciated. Love the support for the channel, guys. Uh, but, but, but what else do we got going on here? All right, let's get into some of the, uh, Let's get into some of the news, shall we? Let's uh, let's have a little bit of a chat again, guys. Also wanted to, I just wanted to thank everybody again for uh, subscribing to the channel, guys. We hit our goal of thirty nine hundred subs. Absolutely awesome. Uh, uh, would be uh, sold if I wasn't, uh, or you're still up two hundred percent. Been following through. I would join that. Give me the trust in this channel. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that, you know, like I, I appreciate the support, man. And, and and I like the fact that we're been, we've been helping so many of you guys. We've been getting so much positive feedback about the help that we've been, you know, providing to everybody. So uh, I'm glad you guys are making money off of what we're doing here, right? That's that's the goal. That's the plan here. So, um, Sandy, most affordable gem hunters on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you so much for your endorsement. Definitely. Yeah, it's less than a $5 bill. Uh, we keep it cheap for everybody so that you don't even notice. Like $5, you just don't even notice. Four, or $4, you don't even notice, right? So it's definitely worth it for sure. Uh, for sure, for sure, Sandy. Uh, all right, let's get into some of what we have to look at today, guys. Um, what do we got? Check this out from the Jankshin website, guys. Uh, earn yield with your GPU. Uh, GPU power is crucial. Uh, is a crucial factor in the AI product. Jankshin call all GPU holders to contribute your GPU capacity for ecosystem initiatives. Uh, some of you guys might not know what they're talking about here, but Hara mentioned this in his last AMA, guys. He mentioned how they want to work with partner with Sony to utilize the old GPUs inside your PlayStations. It's obviously something that you're going to have to sign up for, right? But it will generate passive income for you to allow that to happen, right? In your old PlayStation 2s, your PlayStation 3s, right? Why not utilize those GPUs with Jasmine to create passive revenue in your home, right? I don't know how much it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be 10 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month, but it's worth it either way, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, but that's what this is, uh, alluding to guys is their potential partnership with Sony and the GPUs inside the playstations. That's the goal. And this isn't just some, some gossip from some YouTuber or some, uh, you know, some person on X who made it up, right? This is straight from Hara himself. So you could take that to the bank and it's right here on their freaking website, right? So uh, definitely bullish, guys. Definitely bullish, right? Uh, so, yes. Um, Rob here is showing me $4.99. Yeah, yeah $4.99, 4 uh, $4.99. Yeah, something like that. Yes, uh, it is $4.99. Uh, $4.99. That uh, that's actually the cheapest that you can do. Uh, so yeah, I know, like I said, some of these other channels are charging you guys like 50 bucks, uh, a hundred bucks, stuff like that. Uh, I talked about this morning, how I was watching that Archie guy and he was telling people on his live stream that they should go sell their playstations and their Xboxes so that they can pay him for his Patreon. It's like, are you crazy, dude? Like, what are you talking about? You know, <laughs> go sell your stuff and send me the money. What the hell are you talking about? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. Um, all right. Yes. So uh, also, guys, we were going to talk about it. I was going to play the video, but I decided not to. It's on. Uh, it was posted in, in our Telegram. Apparently, George from Cryptos R Us got himself into a little bit of trouble today. Eh? Uh, apparently, he started demanding 
that uh, his subscribers give him $20 super chats, um, which is, I'm like, what? So someone actually put a clip of the video in our Discord. If you want to see it, join our Discord and go see it. I'm not going to play it on the channel, but yeah, apparently someone sent him a $2 super chat asking him to look at a project. And he went on a rant about how if they want, if you want him to look at a project for you, you should, if you can afford meme coins and you should be sending him $20 super chats. Like that is one hell of a level of entitlement. Uh, I would never demand that you guys send me, uh, you know, X amount, like any, a super chat at all, let alone start picking dollar amounts. Like <laughs> what the hell? I look at projects for you guys for free. I don't demand you guys to send me super chats to look at projects. What kind of what kind of crap is that? I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but apparently he's losing a lot of subscribers because of that rant he went on about you should send me twenty dollars. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Um, mate of mine asked about Jasmine today. Told him uh, last year to get at least a million in the UK. Uh, you'd have paid yeah twenty five hundred uh, today. It's oof oof. Uh, for a million, Jasmine, uh, advice ignored, so stay poor. Yes, exactly. Yeah, hey, you tried to help him, right? You tried to help him. That's all that matters, man. You did your part. You told him to get some. If he chose not to, sucks to suck, man. Sucks to suck, bro, right? That's why I tell people all the time. They, I had someone in the stream this morning. We were streaming this morning, and he was telling me that he thinks Jasmine's a scam, and I was I was telling him, hey, man, like, you don't have to like Jasmine. You don't have to, but it's going to suck to suck, in, you know, a year and a half from now when, when you know, Jasmine's at ob obscene prices, and you're sitting there going, I thought it was a scam, you know? Sucks to suck. You got to listen. Do your research. Uh, duh, duh, duh. How can we access this link? Uh, which link? Are you talking about uh, the link in the description? I'll put it there again for you, my friend. Are you, uh, Studio Tech, tell me this. Are you on iOS? Is that what you're on right now? Let me know if you're on iOS, brother. Uh, Haas, Mitch Ray is the same way. I don't know who Mitch Ray is. Uh, you unsubscribed to George Crypto, uh, Crypto Queen? Is that what you're talking about? Cryptos are us? Tommy, welcome to the member side, my friend. Another new member. Welcome to the family, brother. Uh, make sure you're here Sundays for the members only live streams, brother. We're going to have a good time. We're going to look at microcap gems. We're going to be there to help you out with any of your questions, man. So make sure that you're here Sunday afternoon for the members only live streams. And go back and watch yesterday's live stream as well. It's a members only live stream. Uh, to Buck, uh, you trust Discord? I always have weird uh, lives on Discord, on Discord and Telegram. Uh, I I wouldn't say I trust uh, Discord per se, but I created a Discord for this channel about a month and a half ago because a lot of the subscribers were asking me to create one, uh, so I did, and it has just been a smashing success over there. Uh, there's there's already over 200 people in the Discord. Uh, there's specific channels. There's a Jasmine channel specifically that we just talk about Jasmine. Um, so yeah, I mean, so we did it to uh, you know, I, I did it for the for the members and su subscribers to the channel, and it just exploded. Right, people are all time of all times of night. I could wake up to go to the bathroom at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. I'll walk by my computer and I'll just check the Discord. And there's like a whole bunch of people just having a chat in there looking at microcap gems and stuff like that. So, so yeah, I created it for you guys. And uh, it's a it's a big, great community down there. They have a lot of good conversations. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I pop in all the time over at the Discord. So, yeah, definitely you should check it out. Uh, and this is just a tiny beginning. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we're not even like we're going to get to like a dollar, man. It's going to be epic. Any thoughts on ZBC? ZBC. Let's have a look at ZBC. ZBC. You down with ZBC? I had to say it, guys. I had to say it, right? Uh, three cents, ranked 344th, $200 million market cap, eh? Hmm. 
about half the supplies in circulation over on uh, Solana. Pioneer in real-time payroll, crypto payments, and cards. Oh, good utility. Good utility play. Uh, All-time high was two years ago, so it performed good in the last bull run. Got a couple of decent listings. Gemini, KuCoin, Gate.io, Crypto.com, uh, Radium, Bitmark. Yeah, good play. Good play. I like it. Seems decent to me. Seems like a decent call. Tim just bought it, brother. Had to. Yes. Welcome to the family, Tim. It, or Tom. Sorry, Tommy. It's going to be fantastic to see you in the members only live streams, man. I look forward to it, brother. Uh, no, do it now. Do it. Uh, entitled George. We're all not George. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, Mitch Ray is a YouTuber that uh, demands money for his analysis. I'm going to have to go check him out. I like to watch those kind of things for fun. It's entertaining, right? Uh, Yizzo, what do you think about Ape in a hat or or uh, with a hat, something like that? Uh, yeah, that is, uh, we looked at that. I uh, brought that project to our members about three weeks ago. Uh, what is it? It's called Ape. Uh Ape with, ape with hat, right? Yes, ape with hat. Uh, I told the members about this one a few weeks ago. Uh, has not had its pump yet. Uh, wouldn't be a bad opportunity to pick some up, but the only place you can really get it is uh, radium. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, who knows, right? It could do really, really well. It might not do much of anything, but um, I'm kind of neutral on it. Just started using the Discord and the community is great. Yes, Kevin. Awesome. Glad to hear it, man. I meant Jankshin, Rob. Oh, Jankshin. Uh, well, I mean, so, so hang on a second here, Studio Tech. Uh, Got to look. Uh, when we get when? Uh, how can we access the link? Are you Are you talking about going to the website? You want to? If you want to look at the Jankshin website, I can put a link in the chat for you to go to their website. If that's what you're talking about. Uh, here you go, man. I'll put it in the chat right now for you. You can go check out their website for yourself. Uh, check that out. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So if we're premium here on YouTube and, and we create Discord, uh, do we pay again? Uh, if, if you're premium here on YouTube and we and we create Discord. No, you don't pay again in Discord. No, uh, you can just actually, the Discord channel's free. I don't charge you guys for the Discord. It's free. But you you can contact me. You can DM me privately over on the Discord as well anytime you want. And uh, we can chat one-on-one -on -one as well. I can help you out in that way if anything that you need. I get a lot of the members will private message me over on the Discord. Like I get like 100 a day. And just asking questions about projects and stuff like that, about their portfolio. Uh, and I'm, I'm always there to help you out. So, uh, so no, you don't have to pay for the Discord access. Uh, Sandy, that's arrogance. That will cause uh, your failure, George. Yes, exactly. Uh, Tommy, you've been a big help, brother. Buying into the group is the least I can do. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I appreciate the support for the channel, guys. Right? It means a lot. It really, really does. Uh, good evening, everyone. Lord of the Realm, what's up, buddy? Good to see that you made it in, man. Good to see you made it in. Guys, if you're new here, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Got to keep the channel growing. You know what it is. You know what it is. Uh, we only need 100 more members, guys, to get to 4,000 subs. So that is like a mission that we need to get on. We got to get this up to 4,000 subs. Um... We need 100 people. That's it. We should be able to do that, right? We got this. We got this. Uh, uh, uh. What's your price prediction for Jasmine in the next three months? Uh, Wesley, uh, I've been asked that like 100 times. I'll be honest with you, man. I'm kind of reserving my opinion until I see what Hara has to say on Wednesday because that's going to be a big, big, uh, a big, big uh, factor, right? 
Uh, Studio Tech, uh, yes, please. Website, I put the I put the link to the website in the chat for you there. Uh, Studio Tech, no problem, brother. Uh, oh well, thanks. Uh, cheap classes on stuff, absolutely, man, absolutely. Got to keep it affordable for everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, big things popping, little things stopping. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, let me know in the chat, guys, if you're watching over on X. Uh, I need to know how uh, successful X is going for us here. Do, do, do. All right, let's look at some stuff, shall we? What do we got going on here? So JD says, uh, as we're getting closer to the to the April time frame, uh, as this is when Binance uh, revelations for the monitoring zone take place, it will be crucial. And a major price action boost if Jasmine gets uh, repositioned to its right place, being sold, uh, being a sol solid project with multiple proven actions taken so far. Uh, Hara and Richard Sang, uh, the teams, I hope this review cycle is when we finally see Jasmine uh, relabeled. I agree 100%. Hopefully, we can get our butts out of the innovation zone next month uh x yes nice perfect sandy thank you thank you um what else do we got let's see what let's see what our good friend neo sun has to say shall we let's check in on neo sun so neo says uh yes my enthusiasm is crazy and wacky you will say but uh kunataki ando and sato have always embodied Im uh, immense ambition since the beginning of the Jasmine project, going far beyond the bounds of common uh, imagination. Um, their aim is to leave an uh, indel indel indelible mark, uh, a technology uh, that showcases the power and resilience of Japanese craftsmanship. craftsmanship. Through this innovative, uh, in sorry, it, through this initiative, these pioneers of innovation strive to accomplish the impossible marrying technology and the well-being of the Japanese population, thus revolutionizing the modern era. Their vision and expertise far surpasses those of Western corporations, as evidenced by Hara, uh, meticulously chosen by uh, his mentors to embody their ambitions. So even if, uh, even if it may seem uh, utopian, I affirm it with conviction, Jasmine will become a brand as iconic as Coca-Cola over the decades. The fundamental difference between that uh, Jasmine embodies technology for a well-being uh, in this new digital age. Guy, age, guys, I talked about that this, this morning because uh, somebody asked me my conviction in Jasmine. And I said, I look at Jasmine in a much broader scope than most people do. And what I mean by that is that most people look at Jasmine and they see Jasmine coin. So this is what they're looking at a lens through, right? Uh, for me personally, uh, when I look at Jasmine, what I see is I see a company that is striving, that has the potential to be, and that has the ability, like has the drive to be a global conglomerate, like a massive juggernaut of a company. That's their goal here, guys, right? That's why they're into so many different uh, industries and stuff. Uh, they definitely have the potential to do that. That is the broader lens that I view Jasmine in. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, that. That's how I view it anyways. So, uh, ba -ba -ba. Funky, what's up, man? Uh, what would be your take on BitTorrent uh, holding one billion? And I do think in years to come, this might surprise most. Uh, yes, I would agree with you. Um, let me pull it up here. Do, do, do. Uh, BitTorrent, you said. Uh, BitTorrent, there it is, right there. Uh, I considered buying into BitTorrent um, about a year ago. I never ended up doing it, uh, but I do think that, like, the reason that I just can't do it is because it's on Tron, right? 
and I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, Tron ecosystem. So there's no particular reason. I just don't have that much faith in it, I guess. Um, but it doesn't mean that uh, BitTorrent cannot have a fantastic uh, run. You're absolutely right. So, I mean, we'll have to see what happens, right? We'll have to see what happens. Uh, Rob, I like your deep research. Uh, I wish I found your YouTube, uh, your YouTube last year. I started following you just a couple weeks ago, but I have learned quite a lot from you. You are a top notch, Rob. Thank you so much, Studio Tech. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate the support, brother. Uh, do you think uh, in April, Jasmine will be less than eight cents? Uh, I think, again, I think that uh, what Hara has to say going into Wednesday is going to be potentially huge. Huge. That's what she said. Uh, it could be potentially uh, huge. And we could see, uh, you know, by the end of April, we could possibly see Jasmine be over eight cents. But then you also have to remember that at the halving, which happens in, I mean, Look, we have uh, bah, 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 one second here. We have like we got 24 days until the Bitcoin halving, right? And usually everything kind of dumps around the halving. We have a pullback in everything because it's more of a buy the rumor, sell the news event. And then we kind of chop sideways for about four months after that, right? So that's why I keep telling you guys, real liftoff probably is not going to happen until uh, October, November. That's when it's really going to start, in my opinion, right? So you still have a little bit more time to DCA. Listen, guys, in about five or six months, you're going to, like right now, I tell you guys DCA, DCA, right? In about five or six months, you're going to start hearing me switch to sit on your hands because here we go. And it's going to be too late to DCA after that accumulation will be over at that point, right? Then it's ride the waves up to the top, and then we start looking at plans to exit our way out of the market, right? So you have only four to six months left to dollar cost average your way into your favorite projects, whether it's Jasmine, Caspa, Bic, like whatever it is, right? XRP, whatever, Cardano. Um, you're running out of time, right? Soon you're going to hear me say, guys, it's too late. Sit on your hands and wait for your prices to get hit, your targets to get hit. So uh, if Jasmine has DeFi features, would it boost its price to $17? Um, depends on which features you're talking about. I mean, if they have a, a good uh, a good lockup feature with DeFi, then yeah, I mean, possibly. A lot, of, a lot of people would participate, that's for sure. People love to participate in those DeFi plays, that's for sure. Uh, thanks for that. No problem, man. No problemo. Uh, do you think correction around the having will happen before the following trend? Uh, I guess I just kind of answered that. Eh? <laughs> yes, I do think there will likely be a correction around the having because there's always a correction around the having, right? Uh, it would be odd. It would be the. It would be different this time around if we did not have one around the having. To be honest with you, but uh, we'll have to see how it plays out, right? Uh, so yeah. All right. What else do we got? What else do we got going on guys? We looked at that. Uh, okay. So I wanted to have a brief look over here. Check this ridiculous story out guys. Uh, so Garlinghouse says the SEC is pressing the judge for $2 billion in fines and penalties in the ripple case. $2 billion. Are you kidding me? If you think that Gary's getting $2 billion in fines, I, it's not going to happen, right? Uh, let's talk about it, guys. The U.S. SEC is apparently asking the New York judge to levy a $2 billion judgment against Ripple Labs. According to social media posts from the crypto company's CEO and chief legal officer on Monday, uh, the SEC... Uh, motion for the judgment. I'm trying to get that video out of the screen for the judgment and remedies filed on Friday remedies under seal uh, to outside parties. According to Stuart Alderati, Ripple Labs, chief legal officer, redacted uh, versions of the document will be publicly available by Tuesday, March 26th, which is tomorrow. Uh, the, 
The judgment would bring uh, an end to this phase of the multi-year legal battle between Ripple Labs and the SEC, which began in December of 2020, uh, when the SEC filed a lawsuit against the firm uh, and, its exec and its executives, alleging that they violated the securities laws. Yeah, we know that. Uh, when it was filed, the action led to uh, the widespread delisting or trading suspension of XRP on U.S. exchanges. A federal judge ruled last year that Ripple violated uh, federal securities laws in direct, uh, indirectly selling uh, XRP to institutional investors, through, uh, though not in selling XRP to retail investors through exchanges. Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple's Ripple Lab CEO, uh, suggested in his ex formerly Twitter post that the company will fight will fight back against the proposed judgment motion. The SEC plans to ask the judge for two billion dollars in the case that involved no allegations, let alone findings of fraud or recklessness. Uh, Brad Garlinghouse wrote, "There is absolutely no precedent for this." Uh, we will continue to expose the SEC for what they are when we respond to this. Looking forward to the SEC's response, I'll tell you that much. Uh, Alderati wrote that the company will file its response to the SEC's motion next month, adding, as we all have seen this time and time again, this is a regulator that trades in statements that are false, mischaracterized, and designed to mislead. Rather than faithfully apply the law, the SEC remains bent on wanting to punish and intimidate Ripple and the industry at large. We trust the court will approach the remedies phase fairly. Do you guys seriously think that Gary's going to get a two billion dollar, uh, two billion dollar settlement uh, with this case? I really, really doubt it. I would be shocked if he got $100 million, to be honest with you. But we'll see how it goes, right? Very, very entertaining stuff, guys. <clears throat> I've been in uh, I've been in the XRP army since before the lawsuit even happened. In fact, I'm a little bit happy for the lawsuit because it crashed the price of XRP and it enabled me to buy a whole bunch at very, very uh, cheap discount. So uh, very, very happy about that for sure. So thank you for that. Uh, I guess it wasn't Gary that launched it, but all right. What do we got here? Uh, Blake says you can uh, you can rule a kingdom with three men. Uh, unlike many other major crypto projects, Sato and Ando stand uh, on the forefront of Jasmine, along with a few former Sony executives uh, who they've brought along for the ride. Uh, this culture is different than one man than a one man show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so are we still early even at two cents? Yes, Tommy, we are. Uh, if you're buying Jasmine at two cents or if you're buying it at 1.9 cents, when it's a dollar, you're not going to care, right? So uh, at these prices, you're just splitting hairs, to be honest with you. Uh, like if someone just got into Jasmine, yeah, I mean, it would still be a good dollar cost average situation, definitely. I mean, I think that when we have our breakout to uh, around five cents, then yeah, I mean, a lot of people are going to start getting upset. But even five cents would still be a good DC opportunity if it's going to a dollar, right? So, I mean, look at look at Caspa, right? Caspa was like uh, a fraction of a cent people were buying. Then it was three cents people were buying. Now it's like fifteen cents people are still buying, right? So same thing applies with Jasmine, in my opinion. Any thoughts on Punda? I'm a bit up. Yes, uh, we actually brought that project uh, to the members. If you're up, then I would say take your profits. It's a meme coin, so if you're up, take your profits, man. Uh, XRP, they're trying their best to shake most out. Yes, they're trying, but they will fail. Uh, same. Uh, 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 so, yeah, sorry. What else? What else do we have going on, guys? Uh, uh, guys, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button. We got to keep growing. We got to keep it growing. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, any views on Panda Oshi? That's that, uh, that's Pandu, right? I think we just, uh, we just taught. Yeah. 
Uh, it's a it's a meme coin, I believe, but I will have a look at it for you. I believe it's a I think it's the meme coin we were talking about. Uh, Panda Oshi. It's not even on Coin Gecko. Oh, there's an A. That's why. Panned Oshi. No, it's not on. Uh, it's not on uh, Coin Gecko. But Coin Market Cap. Oh yeah, it's here on. It's on Coin Market Cap. Oh wow, they don't give you any anything on it though. I uh, can't really see anything about it, my friend. Uh, let me check out their X account. Pandoshi uh, is only 10K followers. Very, very early project. Uh, they were post Last time they post... Oh, no, okay. Uh, March 21st. So, like, four days ago, they were active. March. They're not very active on their X account. I don't like that. Um... It's only 70 posts. Honestly, I would stay away from this one. Uh, it's not released yet. It's not released yet, but they're not they're not active on their socials. Uh, they only have 70 posts, and they've had their they've had their uh, their X page at least since November of last year. And the last time they posted was March 21st, which was four days ago. And before that, they posted March 5th. They're not very active on their socials, and that's uh, that's not a good sign for me. Uh, so, uh, thoughts on Planet? Planet Token ranked 599th. Um, 77 million dollar market cap most of the supplies in circulation all-time high was 26 days ago fairly new project uh what does their x account look like uh we are now rebranded as planet refi planet refi so they've changed from so they're they're a real world asset project right I guess they rebranded with re, uh, RWA because it's popular. State-of-the-art platform, tokenized real-world assets, uh, bringing yields into Web3, all while striving to uh, for sustainable growth. Um, they are very active on their socials. Yeah. Um... Tokenomics are not terrible, though I wish they had less of a max supply. Most of them are in circulation, so that's good at least. Uh, yeah, you're going to see a pretty good ROI on this one, in my opinion. Uh, pretty much all RWA assets are going to have their day, guys. They're going to have a good time this bull run. So, um, so yeah, I think it's a decent play. I, I'd be neutral on it, to be honest. Jasmine mini pump. Are we having a mini pump? Oh, 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 oh. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Big things popping. Little things stopping. Let's go. We're right at that resistance level again, you guys. Are we gonna break are we gonna break through? Or are we going to cower down again? Come on, break out. We just set a new daily high. Two cents one eight. We gotta break through, baby. We gotta break through. Let's go. Can we do it? We're going to watch it, guys. It looks like we're going to reject off of that resistance level again. Damn it, man. Let's go already. Uh, so I have time to still get my portfolio up, in your opinion, like a few more months till it explodes. You got about six, five or six more months, my friend, and then it's uh, then it's too late, man, in my opinion. Uh, anyone have a meme coin Doge Elon Mars just picked up some more in the crypto pullback. Yeah, we've looked at that quite a few times. It should have a decent run. Uh, it's it's one of the more popular ones for sure. It's going to have a decent time. Um, 
Just got 80K Velo today. Nice. Velo is going to be a good project as well. Uh, I think uh, about 100,000 Velo should be, you know, a mandatory size bag if you're going to get into it, right? Uh, have you heard of a Zig? Zig. Ziggy, ziggy, ya, ziggy, ya, ziggy, yay. Give me the mic and let me take it away. Uh, Zig, uh, Zig Ailey, uh, ranked 415th. Um, $149 million market cap. Most of the supplies in circulation. Very good, very good. Three years ago is the all time high, 22 cents. We're not too far off of that. What do they do? Are they an AI play? Uh, let the best traders make you money. 100,000 followers on X. They're a DAO. Use, uh, we use AI to handpick only the top traders and beat inflation in traditional markets. So they're like a copy trade DAO. Interesting, very interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, it's got a reasonable market cap. It's got uh, it's got decent tokenomics. Uh, Gate.io, MEXC, MetaMask, Jupiter. I'm neutral. I'd say I'm neutral on it. Poo, poo. Down 13%. Whew, almost a $25.5 million market cap. Tokenomics, holy crap. Look at that supply. All-time high 11 months ago. Down 69%. Nice. Poo coin, uh, Poo Money HQ, uh, the best meme coin ever. What are they on? Are they on Ethereum? Is that what they? Yeah, they're on Ethereum. Um, I mean they're active on their socials, which is good. It's up uh, fourteen hundred and nineteen percent on the month, but uh, yeah. It's another one of those meme coins that, like, for me, I would I would toss a hundred bucks into it that I really didn't care about, and uh, you know, kind of see where it goes. But um, you know, I wouldn't ape crazy amounts of money into it uh, either, right? Uh, always be cautious with meme coins, guys. Uh, always be cautious with meme coins. So, um, where do you see Velo by the end of the year? End of the year? Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe back. Uh, it is on Stellar too, right? Maybe, uh, I mean, it would be nice if we could get back around 5 to 10 cents. Something like that would be nice for a start, right? Uh, let's get to that first and see where we can go from there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it's got a reasonably low market cap, so it, it'll do fairly well, in my opinion. Uh, gaming point going coin interesting. Uh, C A H Moon Moon Tropica $43, $61 million market. Cap. Oof, look at oh, we've looked at this before. Those are some great tokenomics, right there, man. Uh, 11 days ago was the all-time high. Yes, this is, uh, get it on MetaMask. Yes, uh, this one gets gets the thumbs up. This one gets the thumbs up from me. Great tokenomics. Uh, price target for near this run. Near, uh, I am actually a holder of near. I haven't looked at my near holdings in a long time. Uh, near. Near will smash all time high. I don't know, 30, 35 bucks is reasonable, I would say, for Near. It's realistic. Uh, I am a holder of Near. I think Near will do great. I always like to be fully transparent with you guys about whether I'm actually holding a project or not. Uh, guys, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button. Help us out, help us grow.
It would be fantastic if you would do that for us. Uh, we'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, what else do we got going on? Um, check out uh, XEND Finance, real world asset, please. Uh, XE, XEND. Oops. <laughs> I'm on the wrong page. XEND. Oh, ranked 991st. It's up 68% on the day. Very nice. Nice market cap. Nice tokenomics. Um, All-time high three years ago. Yep, I like it. I like it. I like it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, Pro PC. Prop chain, is this what you're talking about? Uh, reasonable market cap. Uh, not in love with the tokenomics at all. Um, All-time high 15 hours ago, $4.99. Uh, very new project, but uh, I got to be honest with you, brother. I do not like the tokenomics on it. Uh, it looks like you could get dumped on in this one. There's a lot of uh, token unlocks that need to happen on this one. So I would say I'm not crazy about it. Uh, I found 182 pig coin uh, in one of my wallets. I didn't buy it or put it there. Anyone ever heard of this token? Michael, uh, I know that there are scams that do that kind of thing. They You get dropped tokens uh, into your wallets. Um, I think something bad happens when you try to sell them and stuff. I'm not too sure on those scams. But what I would say is... Uh, just don't touch them, right? That's that's the best plan that I've ever heard. Uh, when I look, I've looked into that before, and the best strategy is don't try to sell them, don't try to move them, just leave them there, don't touch them, right? Just ignore them like they don't exist. That would be the best thing that you could do. If you didn't buy them, you don't know where they came from, don't touch them. Um. What else is going on here, guys? Got to get the subscriber count up a little bit. If you're watching over on X, do me a solid and shoot me a follow. That would be greatly appreciated as well, guys. Um, JD says, FUD makes the 5% richer. FOMO makes the 95% poorer. Buy the FUD, sell the FOMO. Too easy. I would agree. I would agree. Uh, why do people hate on Cardano? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Some people get uh, tribalistic, right? There's tribalism in crypto, and some people feel threatened because they're uh, they're either Ethereum maxis or Solana maxis or, you know, when it comes to layer ones, people, everyone seems to think that their layer one is the best layer one, man. But me personally, I have the, I am of the mindset of, I am an and guy, not an or guy. I'm going to turn my light on here. I'm an and guy, not an or guy. So I hold multiple layer ones, guys. Uh, I hold Cardano. I hold, uh, Ethereum. Uh, I don't hold Solana right now. I wish I did. Uh, like I hold Nets. I hold Algorand. I hold uh, HBAR. You know, like to sit there and say that you should only hold one layer one and that's the one that's going to win. Guys, there's going to be multiple layer ones that are going to do fantastic in this bull run. So I never discriminate on a bag, guys. Never. Uh, where do you buy legacy coin on? Uh, LGCY. I'll tell you right now, man. I'm in X again, not over on CoinGecko. <laughs> Legacy Network, you can buy it on. You can buy it on your MetaMask. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got to get it over on MetaMask, my friend. Um, that is the best place for you to pick it up. So get the address, get the wallet address from CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap. 
and add it to your MetaMask, uh, and you'll be able to buy it over on your uh, over on your MetaMask. <clears throat> I sold my last bit of Cardano for being a uh, for being a holder for so long for more Jasmine. Well, it's good that you have more Jasmine. Uh, I love I love Cardano too. I hold Cardano. I think it's going to do be a good good project, but. Uh, Biebs, like, yes, Caspa, another solid layer one that's going to do fantastic. Gets a lot of hate, right? Gets a lot of hate, which makes no sense to me. But Caspa is very similar to what Cardano was in the last bull run, guys. Uh, the same jabs are being taken against uh, against Caspa that were being taken against Cardano in the last bull run. People say, oh, nobody's building on there, no smart contracts. And by the way, on a side note, Smart contracts. I was reading the other night that smart contracts are actually coming to Car uh, to Caspa now. So now we're going to start to see that ecosystem start to you know start to evolve as these smart contracts uh, are finally implemented on Caspa. So very very bullish on Caspa, man. Uh, do you like Legacy? Yes, I do, my friend. I really really do. Legacy is another one of the plays we brought to the members a few weeks ago, actually. We bring the members microcap gems, guys, uh, and that is one of them that we gave them uh, weeks ago. So definitely one that you want to check out, in my opinion. Add it to your watch list. Uh, see where it goes, man. See where it goes. Uh, let me know if you're watching on X, guys. X going to give it to you. Uh, where are we here? Okay, so now... Let's see what else Mr. Garlinghouse has to say for himself. Brad says, Ginsler's SEC has repeatedly acted outside the law, not, gonna, not going unnoticed by the judges. Uh, 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 not going unnoticed by the judges, uh, a, do a dominishing uh, the, uh, the uh, agency for the gross abuse of power entrusted to it by Congress debt box case and for acting without faithful allegiance to the law in the ripple case uh let's not forget ginsler's lack of attention to sbf's fraud 100 percent agree with brad on that uh can you show the source that says binance is going to reevaluate jasmine in the in the innovation zone uh they announced binance announced that back in uh when did they announce uh, january february was it January? They reevaluated in January. Uh, my friend Binance uh, has announced back in January. I don't have it in front of me, but they're reevaluating every single project in the innovation zone quarterly, which is every three months. Uh, it's not just Jasmine that's being reevaluated from the innovation zone in April. It's all projects inside the innovation zone. Uh, so uh, you can go to Binance and look it up for yourself if you want in the innovation zone. So they did it in January, and then they announced in January they're doing it again in April, and then the next time would be July. So uh, April, May, June, July. Yeah, so uh, so that is that, my friend. Uh, I thought it was common knowledge at this point. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely go to Binance and check it out. Um, in their innovation zone, there's probably a statement that says they reevaluate every uh, quarterly every single project that's in there. Probably because some of them get delisted, right? Some of them get the boot. Other ones just stay in the innovation zone. And some of the other ones get taken out of the innovation zone. So hopefully Jasmine will be one of the ones taken out of the innovation zone this time around. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, all right. Uh, what else do we got going on? We got more stuff, man. We got more stuff. And we got stuff and we got things, right? Stuff and things. Anti Jasmine, it's definitely coming. GPU uh, shortage is one of the biggest threats to AI and big data advancement. Uh, the other big threat is data being uh, siloed in individual companies. Jasmine will solve both, starting with the GPUs inside of the what? The Sony PlayStations. Let's get it, guys. Let's freaking go. Um, now we're going to look over here. 
What do we got here? Kevin, uh, are RWA projects a pump and sell kind of thing or do you hold long term? Depends on the project, man. But RWA is becoming a really, really big narrative for this bull run. So I would say it, it, it's going to depend on the individual project. But as a whole, the asset, uh, the, the narrative is going to be pretty big throughout the bull run. So uh, that's what I would say about that. Uh, what do we got? New crypto bull run emerges as Bitcoin's price surges. Uh, what do we got? So <clears throat> Bitcoin's price just minutes ago exceeded $71,000, becoming a hot topic for the upcoming hours. MicroStrategy, a Bitcoin bull, uh, has reached a large reserve through its massive purchases. However, institutional investors are still scarce. Uh, but what if this is about to change? Uh, Nilium Resources, Inc., a South African mining company, announced today that it will acquire MindWave. According to the announcement made a few minutes ago, uh, a letter of intent was signed by, I'm not even going to try to say that name, uh, Zyberdata, Zyber uh, and along with the acquisition, 24 uh, 1,800 BTC will be purchased uh, at an attractive price compared to the market rate. This BTC reserve uh, with a current market value of $1.76 billion reflects the company's appetite for cryptocurrencies. Very, very bullish news, guys. You'll love to see it. What else do we have going on? Uh, that is nothing. So let's check out the Jasmine update here. So Dr. Jasmine says, Jasmine setup looks nice. Uh, we have the inverse head and shoulders, guys. Uh, leg up to about uh, 2.7 cents and then uh, 3.649 cents, guys. Looking bullish. Absolutely love it, man. Absolutely love it. Very, very bullish. Uh, we've been down consolidating, guys. It's only a matter of time before we see a nice freaking rip to the upside. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Going to be amazing. What else is going on? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Good old Gear Bears at it again, eh? Good old Gear Bear. So, uh, Biba and DeFi Education Fund files lawsuit against the SEC. Another company is suing. Companies are, are now launching lawsuits against them. They're not suing other companies anymore. They're getting sued now, which sucks for taxpayers because who's paying for these, these losses in court? It's the American taxpayers who are funding it and who are losing their money, right? It's going to this wasteful activities that uh, Gare Bear has been doing. Uh, the DeFi Education Fund of Texas-based uh, apparel company, uh, Biba, has initiated a lawsuit against the SEC brought in the U.S. District Court of Western District of Texas. The complaint questions uh, the manner the SEC has adopted in digital asset regulations, especially its view towards the classification of certain tokens as securities. Uh, the essence of the legal suit uh, is on the Biba token, which Biba distributed via airdrop, according to the plaintiffs. These tokens, which can be used to purchase exclusive elements in Biba's online store, should not be considered as securities. They argued that the method of distribu uh, distribution and the use of the token fail to satisfy the Howey test, which is em uh, employed by the SEC to ascertain if an asset is an investment contract and thus a security. The Howey test demands money uh, to be put into a common enterprise that yields an anticipated profit upon the efforts of others. Biba and the DeFi Education Fund claim that these conditions are not met for Biba airdrops uh, as their tokens are distributed for free and there is no profit expectation based on the work of others. The lawsuit additionally charges the SEC 
with violating the Administrative Procedures Act, which requires federal agencies to develop rules through an open process uh, consisting of public notice and comment, the plaintiff asserts that the SEC's regulate by enforcement strategy has made the crypto industry uncertain and that it has not provided any clear guidelines or public, particip uh, or public participation. The complaint argues that these tactics have stifled innovation and burdened businesses that are looking to cap uh, looking to capitalize on digital assets in a legitimate manner. Uh, consequently, the SEC has been provided with a 60 days to answer the allegations in the complaint. This time frame is standard in proceedings of this kind, allowing the SEC to prepare and file a formal response. So, SEC getting sued again. Like... And they're right because what they're saying in their complaint against the SEC is the same stuff that Congress has been grilling Gary about. These are the same words that Congress is using. So a judge is going to have to look at this and say this complaint, the wording in this complaint is the same as the things that Congress themselves are saying, right? So it doesn't bode well for good old Gare Bear, to say the least. Uh, so yeah, what else is going on out there, guys? Let's have a look at our crypto bubbles real quick and see what's going on. Jasmine still up, uh, 3.4 percent. Love to see a bitcoin's holding 70,000. Bonk's having itself a good time. Amiria NXRA still going. NXRA, look at that, guys, on the week 105 percent on the week, guys. We told the members, I told the members about NXRA. I told them that I was buying into NXRA pretty heavy about two and a half, three weeks ago, guys, right? And look how much I am up. Uh, that's why you want to be on the member side, guys. I keep saying it, the opportunity to make money, like you're almost losing money by not being a member of the channel, guys. It's, you know, it's pretty funny. Uh, what I've seen go down in this country during the last 35 years is disgraceful. 100% agree with you there. 100% agree. It's no different here in Canada. Uh, Rosa Karma is, yes, exactly. 100% agree. Today, I brought uh, I brought 40,000 Jasmine at two cents, one three. I did good or should I have waited for the price to go lower? No, you did good, my friend. Never wait for prices to drop before you get positions because that price drop may never come. I remember about a year and a half ago, maybe a year ago, year and a half ago, guys, if you guys recall, Bitcoin was about $15,000. And everyone was like, yeah, like Wendy O and all these influencers on, on YouTube and stuff were saying, uh, oh, you know, Bitcoin's going to drop down to $9,000, $10,000. So buy in later, don't buy in now. And guess what happened, guys? Bitcoin never fell below 15,000 and immediately shot back up to 20, 25, shot up to 30. Now it's at $70,000. Never wait for a price drop because you might end up standing there with your, you know what, in your hands, right? Uh, so always remember that, guys. Always remember that. DCA is the way. Uh, Element Rage, welcome, my friend, to the member side. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you're here on Sunday for the members only live streams, my friend. Uh, you're going to love it. Get your micro cap gems in there on uh, on Sundays. Uh, let me know if you need any help with anything, your portfolio, your exit strategies, your profit taking, all that stuff. We have over a, over 200 people in the members community, guys, uh, like minded community there to help you grow there to help you make money. I answer all your questions. A like-minded community, guys. That's very, very important. Do not try to do this bull run by yourself, if you, especially if you've never been through one before. Uh, you are going to end up getting wrecked. It's very, very, uh, you know, difficult, tumultuous. I probably said that word wrong. I uh, have a problem pronouncing, but uh, yes, you don't want to try to navigate it by yourself. Join a community that's going to help you, guys. Click the link in the chat to be a member. Again, guys, it's it's like four bucks, right? Uh, these other channels are charging you 50 to 100 bucks. You definitely want to be a member. 
uh, your price prediction for Swift Coin. I'm hope by 2030. Holy crap. Honestly, I don't even have one for 2030. I'm hoping we get, I could see it going to 60, 75 cents this bull run, uh, but I'll be exiting out of it around 40, 50 cents personally. I like the front run things, right? So uh, that's what I would say to that. But 2030, I have no idea, man. I have honestly, a lot of stuff could happen between now and we have an entire, we have an entire for, uh, bear market to go through between now and 2030. Uh, can you check out LLEPS? <clears throat> LLEPS. Is it LL or II? Let me check out uh, Coin Market Cap. I got, I got, uh, I got nothing, my friend. I got nothing on Coin Gecko or Coin Market Cap for that. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Come on, gotta break up, man. Gotta break up above, man. do we got i plan on going in uh, on swift and crust on friday uh yes that is fantastic my friend those are two very very good projects for sure um very much very much so i love both of those projects man uh looking forward to it bro awesome man awesome uh good one uh kk is asking for spell <laughs> Oh, you guys and your spell token. That's never going to die. Um, morning. Good morning, my friend. Welcome in. Thank you for joining us, man. Thank you for joining us. Uh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I love to see people from all over the world tuning in, man. It's, it's absolutely bullish. I love to see it, man. Make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button. Help us out. Let's uh, let's get this growing. Let's get it, uh, let's get it growing and going here, guys. Uh, but what else do we have? Let's see. Let's tune back in to uh, our good friend Neo Sun and see what he's talking about now, shall we? Neo Sun says, "I'm not a fortune teller, but in my humble opinion, Hara is heading. Uh, is sorry, is heading to uh, Sapporo in the uh, Hakado region." to contribute to the decentralization and utilization of data in the surrounding cities. Revitalized by the new Bel Belopec uh, Stadium, which is part of the Smart Cities uh, revitalization uh, by the, uh, or sorry, Smart Cities Initiative, uh, Jasmine and Wits, uh, which is a big partner of Jasmine's, uh, the company affiliated with the mostly owned by Toyota, a partner of Jasmine in, uh, for many years, uh, whose parent company is located in uh, Hakado, uh, believe that this city can play a key role in various processes. Additionally, they plan to collaborate with local governments to further efforts uh, to further efforts and in several initiatives concerning all aspects of smart cities. Exactly, Jasmine is going to be a big part of smart cities, guys. Absolutely bullish. Sun is hot. What's up, buddy? What is going on? Uh, do you like Sciacoin? I liked Sciacoin in the last bull run. This time around, uh, I think there's better plays, right? Stuff like uh, Cross Network would be a smarter play, in my opinion. Much lower market cap. Better opportunity for return on investment, in my opinion. So, yes. <clears throat> uh, what do we got? I get... What else do we got? Check this out. Check this alpha out. Uh, what do we got? Breaking BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF achieves legendary status after hitting second largest inflows for 2024. Guys, absolutely bullish. Love to see it. Love to see it. Destroyed everything, man. Destroyed all kinds of records. Uh, I've got to close that off, close that off. 
So let's have a look back over here. We're going to move the screen over to Jankshin's website briefly. Uh, yeah, so uh, so that's the alpha that I got for you guys today. Uh, anything you guys want to look at, anything you guys want to talk about before I, uh, before I skedaddle out of here, let me know. Uh, make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button. Hitting the follow button over on X, guys, would be fantastic. Uh, when do you expect Jasmine's partnership announcement to come out? I hope, I hope Wednesday. I hope Wednesday. But we'll have to see. When Hara does his uh, his AMA, I'm hoping that's when. Because you know you know we're, that somebody, like a million people are going to ask him about it, right? So uh, I, he's got to have some sort of an answer. He has to know he's going to be asked about it. Uh, tsunami is coming for Jasmine. Hundred percent agree, man. Hundred uh, percent. Thanks, Rob, for the stream. No problem, brother. Hey guys, let me know. Let me know in the chat, guys. Do you guys want me to do? I might come back and do another stream uh, in a couple of hours. If you guys are going to be up, if you want to see a later night stream. Let me know if you're going to be here, guys, because uh, I'm definitely open to doing it. Uh, Rex on Solana is up 100,000%. Holy crap. Maybe not a good time to buy into it. Uh, thanks, Rob. Uh, see you the next one, Jasmine family. Uh, I'm <laughs> Lord, uh, I missed it. No, I hope I didn't. Uh, I hope I didn't too much. Uh uh, I will be up. What time uh, are we talking? Probably about two, two and a half hours from now. About two, two and a half hours from now. Uh, yes, late night streams. Uh, Rosa, I will be here, Rob. Okay, perfect. Uh, give more, uh, give more, Rob. Uh, quit the dealership job. Um, you know what? I would love to. Uh, I would love to do this full time, guys. I really would. I'd like to grow the channel to the point where I can just do this full time. That would be awesome, right? I would stream with you guys all freaking day long. Um, so hopefully we can get it to that point. Uh, I need more people to subscribe to the channel uh, for sure. Uh, so make sure you're hitting the subscribe button, guys, to help us out, help us grow. Also, follow me on X as well. That will help, uh, help us get to that goal, guys. So, uh, all right. Yeah, I'll come back a little bit later, guys. Give me about two and a half hours, two, two and a half hours. I'll come back. We'll do another late night live stream and uh, we'll have some fun, right? So, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you guys in, uh, I'll see you guys in about two, two and a half hours, okay? Uh, do, do, do. How, many new, how many members do you have? We have about, uh, we have about 200 members right now. Are you talking members or subscribers? Shea Boy, thank you, my friend, for the super chat. Much appreciated, brother. Uh, means a lot, man. It means a lot. Super sticker. Uh, thank you for the support, my friend. Uh, it helps the channel. It helps me be able to do this full time, right? It helps, uh, you know, with all the time I spend doing this. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you're ask asking for members, we have 200. If you're asking about subscribers... We have uh, 3,902. We only need 98 more subscribers to hit 4,000, guys. So uh, we got to keep the uh, subscriber count going. It's the X page that we really have to grow. We got to grow that out. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. I will see you guys in about, uh, about two and a half hours, okay? Thank you. Thank you for the support, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys will be back with me in about two and a half hours. I'll see you then.